Hi, I want to explain what an F ratio and an F test is. Sometimes you may want to determine if there really is a difference between the variability of two groups, two samples. Uh, we can compare them by taking the variance of each group, the variance is the square of the standard deviation, and uh, divide the larger one by the smaller one. Uh, if the larger one had a value of 25 and the smaller variance was 10, then the ratio would be 25 over 10 or 2.5. That's called the F ratio and obviously if it's big there's a real difference between the two variances. How do we know if it's big enough? Well, we look in a F table, find the critical value, which is the test value for the uh, F ratio, uh, corresponding to the size of the samples. For instance, if each sample has 10 observations, then the test value is 3.0, and uh, any F ratio bigger than 3 would be considered statistically significant. Uh, our example, the value of F is 2.5. That's not significant because it's smaller than the critical value 3.0. So we would not reject the null hypothesis. We would feel that the case is not proven, that there's not enough evidence that the two populations or samples are different. Uh, here's one common example that's called ANOVA, where you have uh, difference from one group to another. You have several groups, you find the variability among the groups, and then you wonder if that is bigger than uh, the variability within the groups. If it is, it means that one of the groups as a mean value considerably different from the others, or maybe more than one. But it's a way of finding out if all the groups are pretty much the same, and the F test is common in ANOVA. So that's an example, and uh, thank you for your attention.